Haleluya, haleluya. Karibu tena katika session yetu ya pili. Tunafanya fundisho la meditation. Tumekisha kufanya session ya kwanza na tumeiweka YouTube. Unaweza ukenda kuangalia imani mwa kanyamale. Unaweza uka subscribe pale na uka, uka, uka share kwa ajili ya kupata mafundisho mengi zaidi kwa ajili ya watu wengine pia. Na, na, na leo ni session yetu ya pili. And I'm so excited. Uh, kwa sababu kuna msingi ambao Mungu alikuwa amekwisha kuweka katika session ya kwanza. Na kama umesikiliza vizuri, nina imani kuna kitu kipya umekipata ambacho kitakusaidia kuwa makini uh, kwenye kufanya meditation na kuliendea neno la Bwana. Na leo tutakuwa na vitu vichache vya kujifunza pia. Na katika vitu vya leo ambavyo nitafundisha I will focus much kwenye baadhi ya vitu ambavyo nilivisema kwenye session ya kwanza na nitavifanyia clarification kwa sababu ni vipana kwa hiyo sitaweza kuendelea mbele zaidi kwenye vitu ambavyo nilipanga kuendelea navyo kwa sababu nimeona kwenye session ya kwanza kuna vitu Roho Mtakatifu alikuwa anaongea I need to clarify them so that our understanding can be rooted kwenye uwezo mkubwa sana wa kuona kule ambako tunaelekea katika meditation. Ah, uh, natamani kumomba Mungu kwanza. So let us pray in the Holy Spirit. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth ya hai. Asante kwa neema yako na nguvu zako ambazo umeziachia katikati yetu. Thank you for this generation. Thank you for this generation. Thank you for this generation Father. Asante kwa ajili ya chikizazi. Asante kwa matendo yako makuu. Asante kwa ufalme wako ndani yao. Roho Mtakatifu may the infinite light be awakened among us. Ile nuru ya Kristo ambayo ina umilele ndani yake ikaamshwe ndani yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth ali hai. I declare your power and healing from this word that will be delivered into their spirits. I declare your power and resurrection to every mind that was doomed into understanding i declare your power and resurrection to every potential that you have placed among your people in the kingdom of god i declare your power and awakening to every person that was distressed with 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 the things that are happening in this world in the mighty name of jesus we are more than conquerors in the in the name of jesus christ we are more than victorious in the name of jesus christ and lord in your name and in your word we shall be born and reign upon this earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every person that is listening to this sermon may the spirit of wisdom and may the spirit of understanding may the spirit of revelation may the spirit of knowledge may the spirit of counsel may the mighty spirit of of God be upon you as you're listening to this sermon i declare the power of god upon your life i declare the power of god upon everything that you're doing i declare the power of god upon your spiritual life may you receive it the portion in the kingdom of god in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray Amen and amen. Thank you Jesus for this wonderful presence. Thank you Jesus for this wonderful presence. Sletroma sekra adosa iklaso pra ashokra atesia in Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Okay. So last time I spoke about two main things. Iongelea vitu viwili vikubwa na leo nataka to concentrate up because they are very much important a person ambaye hajajua the origin and the essence of him or herself does not deserve realization of things mtu ambaye hajajua asili yake mtu ambaye hajafikiri kwa habari ya asili yake hastahili mafunuo because the first thought wazo la kwanza ambalo mtu anatakiwa awe nalo nafsi yake inapokuwa hai ni kwa habari ya swali moja very much important who are you who am i so we expect the first reasoning part 
should be on self more than in anything else so leo nita nita nitaanza kufundisha kwa habari ya nafs kwa sababu mara ya kwanza kati nimeanza kufundisha kutoka kwenye kitabu kile cha mwanzo uh, ile sura ya pili nitasoma tule mstari wa saba biblia inasema bwana mungu akamfanya mtu kwa mavumbi ya ardhi akampulizia puani pumzi ya uhai mtu akawa nafsi hai Mungu alipopuliza pumzi ya uhai mtu akawa nafsi hai na kwenye sermon na session iliyopita nikasema mwanzo wa meditation ni pale mtu ambapo nafsi yake inakuwa hai That means huyu mtu sasa anatambua kwamba nipo. Inawezekana sijue yeye ni nani lakini uwezo wa kutambua nafsi ya kwake kama ipo au yeye kuwepo tayari unakuwepo kwa sababu nafsi imekwisha kufanyika kuwa hai. Lakini nitakapo tutakapoanza kuangalia kuwepo kwa nafsi hai. Kuna vitu sasa nataka ni vitu vitazambe kwenye nafsi kwa sababu nafsi iliyofanywa hai ni nafsi ya Adam. Lakini tuna tofauti ya activation ya nafsi. Na hicho ndo kitu ambacho nataka tukitazame kwenye siku ya leo. Kwa hiyo hebu turudie tena ile 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 ile, ile mwanzo sura ya pili mstari wa saba Biblia inasema Bwana Mungu akamfanya mtu kwa mavumbi ya ardhi, akampulizia puani pumzi ya uhai, mtu akawa nafsi hai huyu ni Adam akawa nafsi hai. Na alipokuwa tu nafsi hai kuna maelekezo ambayo Mungu alimpa Adam. Na nilikwambia siku ile nikasema Mungu alimpa Adam maelekezo ya sources ambazo zinaweza kumpa meditation, sources ambazo zinaweza zikampa ufunuo, sources ambazo zinaweza zikampa wazo jipya na main sources ambazo zinatajwa kwenye Biblia kwenye kitabu cha mwanzo ni mti wa uzima na mti wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya. Sasa Mungu hana shida na mtu kula kwenye mti wa uzima, lakini shida ipo kwenye source ya mtu wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya. Na tukipata muda nitakuelezea ni kwa nini hakutakiwa kula kutoka kwenye mti wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya. Sio kwamba mtu wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya ulikuwa na authority kubwa kushinda Adam, lakini hizi ni kanuni za kiroho ambazo tunatakiwa kuzifahamu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kanuni za kiroho ambazo tunatakiwa kuzifahamu. Na jambo jambo kubwa ambalo pia linatushinda lina sana watu ambao tumeliamini jina la Yesu hatujui kwamba hata kuliamini kwetu jina la Yesu ni kwa sababu Yesu alikamilisha kanuni kadhaa kadhaa. Kanuni ya kwanza ambayo Yesu Kristo alikamilisha alitakiwa avue utukufu. The eternal glory was put off. Kanuni ya pili akavaa mwili. Kanuni ya tatu akafa katika mwili kanuni ya nne akafufuka katika mwili that's why we believe and submit in his name there is no name like the name of jesus because he fulfilled some principles bwana yesu asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe so mungu akapuliza pumzi kwa adam alafu adam akawa nafsi hai adam akawa nafsi hai kwa tunaona nafsi ya kwanza ya Adam moja kwa moja imepuliziwa na Mungu afu Adam akawa nafsi hai. Lakini baadaye tunaona another kind of activation of the soul. Mungu anamwambia Adam you don't have to be alone. Nitakutafutia msaidizi na anapomtafutia msaidizi Mungu anakuja na jambo jipya anamleta mwanamke ambaye uumbaji wa mwanamke ni tofauti kidogo na jinsi ambavyo Adam aliumbwa kwa sababu Adam ni purely from the uh, from the ground but a woman is purely from Adam So the capability of a pure person from the ground is different from the capability of a person coming from a man from the ground. 
Eva alitoka ndani ya mtu aliyefanywa kutoka katika udongo. So capability yao ni tofauti kwa sababu kuumbwa kwa mwanamke is not independent ndani ya mwanamke. Lakini kuumbwa kwa mwanamume ni independent ndani ya mwanamume. Siongelei mfumo wa watu wanavyofikiri kwenye jamii kutokana na cultural backgrounds. Lakini here I'm speaking about a, a spiritual principle ambayo ni ya kiungu. Mwanamke aliumbwa kwa ajili ya mwanamume. A woman was created for a man and from a man. Capability ya uwezo wao wa reasoning na questioning na discerning ni tofauti. Na ndio maana mara nyingi unanisikia ninasema questioning reasoning. Hivi vitu ni tofauti. Na ndio maana nikasema mwanadamu alipokuwa tu nafsi hai alianza ku question na ku reason. Sio kitu kimoja, questioning and reasoning ni vitu tofauti. Na maana nikasema mwanadamu akaanza kuingia kwenye parts za meditation pale tu alipoanza ku question sasa tuna vitu vitatu vya msingi ambavyo nitakuwa kuvijua kwenye meditation. Kitu cha kwanza ni question. Question that is the first thing. Kila mtu ana uwezo wa kukwesha kutokana na uwezo wake wa kuona. Every person has an ability to question. But the second thing is reasoning. Sina maneno ya Kiswahili ya kuyataja, lakini kitu cha pili ni reasoning. Kitu cha kwanza ni questioning. Another part of meditation is reasoning. And the last part of meditation is discerning or discernment. Kuna watu duniani they can question but they cannot reason. Kuna watu duniani they can reason but they don't have an ability to discern. Sasa watu wengi wakiwa kwenye questioning na wakafanikiwa kupata reasoning wanasahau kwamba wanatakiwa ku descend because descending ndo the ndo the, ndo the highest level kutoka kwenye questioning na reasoning lazima hivyo vitu vifahamu na kuna watu wana question tu na ndio maana kuna watu lazima ukaombe ushauri kuna watu they have a gift of counsel kwa sababu kuna mtu anaweza aka question lakini hapati majibu kwenye questioning aliyopata anaenda kumta, kutafuta ushauri kwa mtu kwa sababu anaenda kumtafutia anaenda kutkuomba ushauri kwake ameweza ku question na ameweza ku reason kwa maana maana yake anaweza akamshauri kwenye questioning ya kwake lakini baada ya reasoning we have a very important part it is a part of discernment a person who reason without discernment is a person who can be deceived by the kingdom of darkness mtu ambaye ana ana question na ana reason if he has not settled to god and prayed for the favor of discernment this person can be deceived at any time by the kingdom of darkness that's why when you read the book of genesis adam was deceived through eve biblia nasema maana sio mwanamume aliyedanganywa it is not a man who was deceived but it was a woman it was not a man who was deceived but it was a woman because they are so nafsis out capability of questioning na reasoning na discerning ni tofauti na ukisoma vizuri maandiko utakuta Eva ana ana uwezo wa questioning na reasoning lakini hana discernment mwanamke kwenye kitabu cha mwanzo alikuwa na uwezo wa questioning na reasoning lakini discernment hana ndio maana alikuwa deceived na unaonaje kwamba mwanamke ana questioning kwa sababu nyoka kumdanganya mwanamke kama mwanamke akuwa questioning na prohibition ya Mungu aliyowapa kwa habari ya mtu wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya tunapoona nyoka anamdanganya mwanamke ni kwa sababu mwanamke tayari alikuwa na questioning kwa habari ya mtu wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya unapoona mwanamke anasema huu mtu afaa kwa chakula umtu ni, ni, ni watamanika kwa maarifa ni mzuri kwa maarifa that is the process of reason but are you able to discern the information that you are entering in your system discerning is very important you can question yes you can reason yes but are you able to discern what you are feeding your system 
so for you to understand that questioning part for you to understand that reasoning part for you to understand that descending part angalia nafsi ya adam angalia nafsi ya eva adam baada kufanywa kuwa na na, 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 na nafsi hai kutoka kwenye pumzi ambayo Mungu aliweka ndani yake. Listen to me carefully. Alikuwa na uwezo wa mambo matatu. Alikuwa na uwezo wa question. Alikuwa na uwezo wa reasoning. Alikuwa na uwezo wa discernment. If baada ya kutolewa ndani ya Adam, alikuwa na uwezo wa questioning, alikuwa na uwezo wa reasoning, lakini alikuwa hana uwezo wa discerning. That is very important for you to understand. Alikuwa hana uwezo wa discerning. Na ndio unaona hata baada ya Eva kula tunda, hakujiona kwamba yupo uchi. Kwa sababu discernment it is not there. And the man Adam came and said uh, and, na, na baada ya kula tunda because he was able to question to reason and discern they were they, they came to found to, to find out that they are naked wakaja kujua ya kwamba wapo uchi why because a man was able to discern bwana yesu asifiwe listen to me listen to me carefully listen to me unaweza ukawa kanisani na doctrine au fundisho ambalo lipo kwenye jamii usika ya waamini because let me tell you shetani angaiki na watu tu ambao tunaona na vemwana mapepo na we can see that they don't have the holy ghost but satan deals with the people that carry the holy spirit because if these people are deceived there is a majority of people that will also be deceived kwa unaweza kaa umekaa kwenye the knowledge of the word of god and you only have the questioning in the reasoning part but the part of discernment is not there and the the, the kitu kibaya kwa kukosa roho ya utambuzi na roho ya discernment ni kwamba you will never know that you lack something in the holy spirit hautajua kwamba unapotea that is the bad, the bad way unapokosa discernment spirit unapokosa roho ya utambuzi discerning what you know discerning what you are being fed discerning what you observe in the scriptures discerning what you interpret into the scriptures unapokosa roho ya utambuzi Huwezi ukajua kama unapotea lakini unakuwa unapotea kwa sababu ndani yako umeweka questioning na umeweka reasoning but you, you are not able to discern the information that you question and you observe That's why nikakwambia okay ask yourself right now which part are you are you in the part of questioning or are you in the part of reason by my take by my take few people in the church experience the revelation of the word of god i'm telling you the truth few people in the church know how to enter into into, into the revelation of god few people watu wa church wana uwezo wa kupata the genuine revelation of the word of god watu wa church manake hao watu they operate in a reasoning part na sio watu wanaopata revelation in the word of god in a part of reason they have a spirit of discernment <laughs> bwana asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe mwangalie apollo the bible says apollo he was a great man he was a giant into the scriptures but when he was teaching he was teaching about the name of jesus but he was teaching about the baptism of john Biblia inasema Akila na Priscilla wakamchukua Apollos ili wamuelekeze kufanya anachokifanya in a perfection. He was a man of God, but he was not able to discern that what I'm doing is not perfect. He was filled with the Holy Spirit. Biblia inasema Apollo alikuwa amejazwa na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu and he was able to interpret scriptures and yet a man was not aware that he missed the spirit of discernment because what he was doing he was doing it in an imperfect way not in a perfect way akina na prisila wanafunzi wa paulo wakamuita and they made him understand the perfection of how to preach the name of jesus so he had revelations but he was not able to discern biblia inasema paulo alipopita eneo ambalo apollo alifundisha 
Maandiko anasema akakuta watu they are not filled with the Holy Spirit and he asked them nyinyi niko ubatizo gani mlibatikiwa akasema tulibatizwa kwa ubatizo wa Yohana they don't know about the the Holy Spirit filling them why because a man missed a spirit of discernment to know that I'm accurately preaching the message of Jesus Christ are you in a part of question are you in a part of reason do you have a spirit of discernment now if you are asking yourself how what is the spirit of discernment how do i know that i have the spirit of discernment it's because you don't have a discernment part hallelujah hallelujah and yet maandiko yanasema mjue kuzitambua roho test the spirits test the prophets how do you test the prophets when you don't have the spirit of discernment how na sisemi kufananisha fundisho kwa fundisho it is more than that sisemi kujua ubovu wa fundisho na perfection of fundisho it is more than that kwa sababu katika perfection yako wewe inaweza kuwa ni imperfection kwa sababu kuzidi maarifa so you need also you need also listen to me you need also to understand that when you have the spirit of discernment unatakuwa ikusaidie kujua kwamba what you know is an error what you know is imperfect what you know is not perfect with the spirit of discernment a person can grow to the to, to the fullness of Christ because atakuwa na uwezo wa kupambanua even the levels of how to grow into the fullness of Christ Jesus why because he had the spirit of discernment today we eat everything from the scriptures because we don't have the spirit of discernment ever mama wa wote wenye uhai alikuwa na reasoning alikuwa na questioning lakini hakuwa na discernment na maana hakujua kwamba yupo ucha tabada kula tunda maana yake kuna chakula alikula kile chakula kilishafanya mabadiliko ndani yake ambayo mabadiliko yalikuwa sio ya kumpeleka kwa Mungu lakini kwa sababu halikuwa hana roho ya utambuzi alikuwa hana hana the spirit of discernment hakujua kwamba yupo uchi but when a adam wanakuja a man with the spirit of discernment anamwambia kwamba ever upo uchi if the church will learn how to accept the discerners of the word of god we shall know how to dress ourselves with the holy ghost okay chakula unachokula sasa hivi can you discern it kwa sababu chochote unachokula kimeshabadilisha mfumo wako can you discern it can you discern it kwa sababu hivi ilibidi amsubiria adam ili amuonyeshe kwamba yupo uchi why because she did not have the spirit of discernment the spirit of discernment the spirit of discernment in the times that we have right now on earth I'm telling you the truth in the Holy Spirit. If you have no spirit of discernment. By the way, if you don't know even how the spirit of discernment works inside you. You are going to be lost. That's why the antichrist when he will come, he will deceive. He won't be clear. He will do the deception. For you to to calculate the deception, you need the spirit of discernment. Ili kanisa liweze kuchomoka kwenye kila aina ya deception linahitaji roho ya utambuzi na roho ya utambuzi ni, ni, ni matokeo ya questioning na reasoning because you cannot you cannot you cannot discern what you have not reasoned you cannot discern what you have not questioned so how una, unapata do you have enough time to question the word of god do you have enough time to reason the word of god do you have enough time to discern the word of god do you have that enough time do you have that enough time i pray for the spirit of discernment upon your life may you know that you need the spirit of discernment may you know that you need the spirit of discernment may you know that you need the spirit to reason to question May you know all these levels so that you you may walk perfectly in the word of God. So that you may walk perfectly in the scriptures. 
Apollos was filled with the Spirit of God. He was able to interpret the scriptures, but he missed the perfection of preaching the gospel. Akawafanya watu huwatembe kwenye njia ya Yohana mbatizaji na huku watu walikuwa wanahitaji Roho Mtakatifu. Why? Because of the spirit of discernment. I pray for the church of Christ right now on earth that it may receive the spirit of discernment. I pray for all servants of God that they may have the spirit of discernment. I pray to all people that are under different servants of God. Naomba kwa ajili ya watu wote ambao wapo chini ya watumishi wa Mungu wawe na roho ya utambuzi. Let me tell you, you cannot pray to your mchungaji, you cannot pray to your apostle, you cannot pray to your prophet if you don't have the spirit of discernment. Because this is the body of Christ. We have to help one another. If you are praying kwa ajili ya mchungaji wako, if you are praying kwa ajili ya, ya, ya mtumishi wa Mungu ambana anailisha roho yako na anakesha kwa ajili ya roho yako, you have you need the spirit of discernment. Unless or otherwise utakuwa victimized na teaching ambayo anafundisha hata kama akiwa anakosea you will never come to see the error of the teaching because you don't have the spirit of discernment and in your prayer you don't see farther than your father sees you cannot pray for such kind of man of god now listen to me today we need people that will stand for the man of god ambao atasimama kwa ajili ya watumishi wa Mungu ambao amesimama kwa ajili ya kuongoza watu wengi Biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha Daniel na hao ambao watawageuza watu wengi kwenye haki watangala kama nyota milele na milele and those people who shall turn many to righteousness they shall shine at the stars forever listen to me there are people there are people these are our pastors these are our apostles these are our prophets these are our teachers these are our evangelists they are there blessed by God so that they can turn many to righteousness These people need prayer. Watumishi wa Mungu right now they need prayer. But because uh, uh, kondo au washirika ambao wapo chini ya watumishi wa Mungu, they don't have the spirit of discernment. They only pray what the servants of God has spoken, but they don't pray what the servant of God is seeing. Wanaomba kile mtumishi wa Mungu alichosema, hawaombi kile mtumishi wa Mungu anachoona. We cannot help them if we don't have the spirit of discernment. If we are, we are we are about to raise those intercessors the intercessors must have the spirit of discernment lazima wawe na roho ya utambuzi lazima wawe good questioners good reasoners good discerners unless otherwise we are wasting the potential that god has placed upon the servants of god you listen to mombeli ni mchungaji wako you don't see what to pray for him because you see like he is perfect because you cannot discern You can't descend. You cannot descend. Huyo ni Adam na mwanamke. Huyo ni, ni mwanamume na mwanamke. Nafsi zao zilikuwa tofauti. Nafsi ya Adam ilikuwa na uwezo wa kurizwa, kwa na uwezo wa kuquestion, kwa na uwezo wa kudescend. Lakini Eva alikuwa na uwezo wa kuquestion na kurizwa, lakini alikuwa hana uwezo wa kudescend. Alikuwa hana uwezo wa kudescend alikuwa anaweza kudisen kanisa kwenye nyakati tulizonazo without the spirit of discernment <laughs> we are all dead i'm telling you the truth black and white because the son of petition yule mtu wa kwasi shukuli alionayo ni kufanya deception na deception haijalishi upo kwenye neema au haupo kwenye neema umemwamini Yesu au hujamwamini Yesu deception inakuja na wale waliokaa in the word of god they will be able to understand kwamba hapa tunadanganywa but a person who can't even question can't even reason can't even discern he will be deceived though he has the holy spirit so he has Jesus inside him Apollos had the holy spirit but he was not able to discern remember that always remember that always na hapo nimeongelea nafsi za aina mbili nafsi ya aina tatu kwa sababu nafsi ya kwanza ya Adam ni totally independent kutoka kwa Adam nafsi ya pili ya Eva inatoka kwa mwanamume kwa sababu Eva aliugwa kutoka kwa mwanamume. Mwanamke alitokana na mwanamume. Lakini 
there is a, a third kind nafsi ya ya aina ya tatu ni nafsi ambayo inatokana na combination ya Adam na Hawa inatokana kutoka kwenye combination ya mwanamume na ya mwanamke na ndio maana wapo watu wawili wa ambao hawakuzaliwa na baada ya hapo wengine wote tunazaliwa sasa wanaozaliwa mfumo wao wa nafsi ni tofauti na ambao hawakuzaliwa na ndio maana biblia inasema kwa kwa mtu mmoja dhambi ilingia ulimwenguni na wote ambao alifuata baada ya mtu kwa sababu walizaliwa walitokana na yeye that is our position and we have to understand that position so that we can be able to come out with the purity of the seed of god today ni mwangalia vitu vitatu ni mwangalia question ni mwangalia reason ni mwangalia discernment so i want us to pray may god help us because as i look the church it only works in the in the in the part of question na ni wachache ambao wapo serious na questioning few few experience revelation kwa sababu questioning haikupi revelation reasoning ndio inakupa revelation few experience revelation wachache wanapata ufunuo na wachache wanaopata ufunuo they have pride kwa sababu ufunuo wanaopata wanafikiri ni perfect maana kwa mekosa discernment haleluya na maana kila mtu anakaa kwenye kibanda kake thinking that he is doing the work of god when you miss discernment you are taking us where you don't know so we have to pray for the spirit of discernment na inahitaji hapo nas doesn't need pride doesn't need pride doesn't need pride haitaji majishifu inahitaji hapo nas Paro sacramento sepra kashira Koribo sacramento sotoya le cosata ya bro cosotoya ba aketia le suta ya to sakita mashetea le cosa lanto sipra manta shikomanda jitari kroma sutro kayapra akatiza kaka yusoko taya mashika katika china la yesu kristo katika china la yesu kristo katika china la yesu kristo tunaomba e bwana roho ya utambuzi katika china la yesu kristo katika china la yesu kristo katika china la yesu kristo ninaomba kwa ajili ya watumishi wa Mungu ambao roho mtakatifu umeweka kama malango kwa ajili ya ufalme wa mbinguni ya kwamba roho mtakatifu roho ya hekima roho ya ufunuo roho ya utambuzi ikawe juu yao e bwana ili njia ambayo tunapitishwa iwe sawa sawa iwe perfect e bwana katika china la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth ali hai ninaomba kwa ajili ya dunia katika nyakati hizi ya Roma mtakatifu ya kwamba e bwana ukatupe nguvu ya kuona ukatupe nguvu ya kupambanua ukatupe nguvu ya kupambanua mema na mabaya ukatupe nguvu ya kupambanua giza na nuru ukatupe nguvu ya kupambanua Biblia inasema kuna watu wametengenezwa fikra zao kwa ajili ya kupambanua mema na mabaya na hao ndio ambao wanahitaji chakula kigumu katika china la Yesu katika majina ambayo tunaingia e bwana ulimwenguni na amro mtakatifu katika majina ambayo tunaingia ulimwenguni sio duniani tu lakini tunaingia ulimwenguni nguvu zako uweza wako vikawe juu yetu e bwana ya kwamba nguvu zako za ufunuo nguvu zako za maarifa nguvu za za, za utambuzi zikawe juu yetu e bwana ili tukapate kuliona ile ambayo unaikusudia katika china la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth ali hai in the mighty name of Jesus Christ i declare and decree the power of the holy spirit to every person i declare and decree the power of the holy spirit to the church of god i declare and decree the power of the holy spirit to all ministers of the gospel i declare and decree the power of unity and love to the church of god in the mighty name of